Hi everyone, Mrs. KJ here. I am at StopDisastersGame.org and I'm going to click Launch Game. I'm going to go through the directions for how to do the flood. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time to load. That's okay. We're going to click on play game. And then you can see we have tsunami, which we did in class connect. There's earthquake. And then we have flood. So I'm just going to start with easy. You're welcome to do medium or hard or easy. It says, hello, this is a city in Central Europe located near a mountainous region that is prone to occasional flooding. The city has a population of 446 people whose livelihoods are mainly in service industries. So service like hotels for tourism and energy production. You have to protect as many people, buildings and livelihoods as you can against a possible flood. Your challenge is to provide accommodation, so housing, to 550 people build one hospital and one school and cover the wells. So if you look at your notes, um, those are things that you can list there so you remember what you need to do. Think about what you can do to protect people and their property against flooding. You have a choice of different housing and upgrades and defenses are also available. Choose the best options and save as many people as you can. Okay, so remember we can click on our person here. You might not have the same person as me, but that doesn't matter. That reminds us of our goals, tells us how much time we have. Remember you have points for having less than $10,000 remaining in your budget. We wanna get some key facts and we wanna make our missions happen. Okay, so you can click on show risk. Eee, there's a lot of purple and red on this one, okay. Um, we still got to house a lot of people, and remember we needed to build a hospital. So I'm just going to start with my hospital so I don't forget. So ooh, maybe I'll do it on yellow. Hospitals are pretty important. Remember, you can click the housing, and you can scroll down to get your choices. There's my hospital. I'm going to build my hospital. Now remember, you can also upgrade. So I can check my upgrades. I just like to click all the upgrades. I mean, you got the money, might as well do it kind of thing. All right, now if I look, oh my goodness, I'm already up to five key facts. So if you'd like, you can read through the key facts and get your information. Remember, you need at least eight of them to earn your points. We have to cover the wells. Mm, I'm guessing these are the wells. Okay, yeah, so they look like this. All right, so we're gonna upgrade our wells. Okay, so that's what it looks like for the wells. So it looks like there's a couple of them you need to upgrade. And then you gotta house your people, so remember to do that as well. Another way to get key facts is by ch checking on some of your other buildings, right? Like your hotels, maybe do some stuff for them. Your church, think about places where people gather. What's that? That's a commercial building. And then once you have all of your items met, so remember you need at least eight key facts. I have my hospital, but ooh, you still need to build a school. You need your housing for 550 people and protect all your wells. Have less than $10,000 remaining. And then you can have your disaster strike. Oof, pretty rough, not good. Obviously, you're going to do a lot better because you're going to spend a lot more money taking care of things. This is a really long flood. Um, then after your flood, ha, it has even a raindrop showing up on your screen. Funny. This is the first time I've ever done the flood, which is why I'm so amused. <laughs> then when you're done, okay. So then again, you can view your report. Remember, this is what you're going to want to take a screenshot of. This is how you are going to get graded. Make sure your screenshot, you have disaster flood highlighted as well in your screenshot. I, I shouldn't have said highlighted. I just meant included in your screenshot. And this is what we're looking at. Make sure you get your screenshot here because once you hit continue, you're there and I don't think you can get it back. All right, if you have any questions, let your teacher know.